Hello everybody, my name is Peach Banjo 8008 and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. This episode, in case you haven't already noticed, which I don't know why you would, but this episode is now on the fancy new computer. One of the benefits about this is that we have the in-game audio now. I don't have to turn the audio all the way down whenever I want to record, which is nice. And another benefit is less background noise, and it should be a lot less laggy. Uh, I've checked things out and it already feels a lot less laggy, like just moving around. I have messed with settings a bit, too, and that probably has helped a bit, but I think it's mostly the new computer. Now, in the last episode, we, uh, went netherite, ancient debris, whatever mining. Uh, there's nothing in this chest right now, because we spent it all on beds. Uh, and what I want to do in today's episode, actually, yes, I do have a plan for this episode. Normally, I don't plan out my episodes, and you can usually tell, because I just kind of, like, go with the flow. But, today... I actually was smart and picked out what I wanted to do for this episode. So, what are we doing? Well, we are going to head over to the Mesa and make a little base there, a mining outpost, so we can mine terracotta and stuff, because I want to do a lot of builds with terracotta, and we don't have any of it at the moment, which is why we need to go grab some. I also, that's the only source of spruce that I know of in the world, so it's very useful. And it's new terrain, so there's a chance we could find copper and other stuff there. I thought I lit you. No? Okay. I should probably turn fog off, actually. No, that's only Optifine. Okay. I was getting confused, because I distinctly remember turning off fog earlier today. Okay, I brought down the volume of everything. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Anyway, let's get through. This should take us to our amethyst cluster thing. Which actually I haven't checked on in a while, so we might as well do that while we're here. Okay. Looks about the same. Let's head up to our... Do I have a bed on me? I do. Okay, let's head up to our Mesa Besa. That's what this episode's going to be called now. And... Let's start building something. I don't want to do something really, really extreme. I kind of just want to make like a spruce shack, and that's about it. But I do want to do something fun for this episode. So, so if you come out here and look, this is our mesa that we're dealing with. We have a big body of terracotta right here. I don't know how big this mesa actually is. Some spiky stuff over here. And then another big body right here. I'm thinking we build something over here in the spiky area. Because it just looks cooler than these other two areas. So. The question is, what do we build? I know there's some spruce over there that we could probably use for this. And we might end up using that. But. We're like. Because, like, I'm afraid if we use terracotta in this, it's just going to blend right in and just look like the mesa. So, what if we, like, hollow these out and then make bridges from each one? I think that could actually be pretty cool. So, like, we come over here. We hollow this entire thing out, or at least most of it. And then we hollow this one out and this one. And then we make spruce bridges from each one. I think that'd be pretty cool, and it'd end up just being like a triangle, like a bridge from here to here. Or maybe we could just have a bridge from this one to this one, and then from this one to that one. I think that's how that would probably end up working out. But before we do that, uh, we do need some spruce. So I'm going to go head off and grab that real quick, and I will be back. Uh, we are back, and I have been farming up spruce wood, a lot of spruce wood, actually. As you can see out here, we've got one, two, three, four, 
five spruce trees growing out here. I also had to go to a village to get more wheat for this bread. And I did hollow this out. It's it's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Because these look huge from the outside. But I decided what I want to do is have like stairs going all the way up to the top of that tower. And then from that tower we're going to have a bridge from here to here. And then a bridge from there to there. But I need to get to work on hollowing these two out. So we can actually do that. Right now though I do want to come up here and work on this tower. So that's what we're going to do after I go to sleep. I don't even know if I have a crafting table. I don't think I do. Okay, so let's just make two of those. One of them will keep on hand, and the other one can stay in here. And let's make ourselves some spruce slabs. That should be enough. I don't... I can't imagine we'll need any more than that. So I think we're going to start here... And the secret to doing this is just two slabs every half slab. Although, no, you're going to have to go one slab, actually. Because then you can't walk up the thing, and that's not good. So, the story behind this Mesa base, I think, is like... It, it's an apocalyptic-style wasteland. All of this is just ruins. And people have been trying to survive in these hollowed out spikes of terracotta in the mesa. I think that's a pretty cool story for this. And the stairs are all complete. They go all the way down to the bottom. There we go. Okay, stairs are complete. Uh, I will have to put some torches up there just to make sure mobs don't spawn. Uh, so what else do we want to put in here? Uh, I was thinking we could just put some simple decorations, like chairs and tables and stuff. Just so we kind of, because we kind of want this place to feel like there's actually people living here, right? Also, I forgot that in mesas, there's like gold everywhere. I found some gold right up here. Don't know how much of it it is one piece but it will be a decent amount and we will get slowly richer and richer in gold so we can hopefully sometime soon work on a piglin bartering system we're just getting all these things done really quickly okay I just added another block right there uh, actually I think I'll add the blocks all around just I think it makes it look a little bit better, just a, a small detail. But if we come up here, we do have to get started on this tower we're building up here. So I think the first thing is we're going to have to tear down this segment that like sticks out of the ground. Because that's not something we want. And then... Let's take down this layer as well. And we can actually use this brown terracotta as the base layer for these four pillars in the corners because it kind of matches the color of spruce okay uh, so this is where the tower is going to end up standing it's not taller than this but that's fine because I'm thinking we have a tower right up there too just so these don't look too similar to each other I think I'm going to strip these because then it matches the stairs more, and the pillars of the tower don't uh, blend in as much to this one center pole that we have our stairs on. There we go. We have a little walkway, stairway thing to get up here. And then the four pillars. Now for the roof part. The roof part's going to be the most annoying, I think. And this is why we brought a crafting table with us. Uh, let's make ourselves some sticks. And now let's make ourselves some ladders. I think I'm going to leave a ladder on one of these. Just so if we ever need to come up here later, we can do that. And I think we're mostly going to be viewing it from this way. So I'm thinking... 
we put one in the middle of this. Okay, we can put two slabs there. I'm thinking that that will be our base layer. Two slabs on each pillar, then these three, and then two more slabs. And I'm pretty sure this is even. Okay, and we'll put trap doors on these, maybe. Uh, again, the beauty of carrying around a crafting table. Uh, let's make... We're gonna need four of these. We got eight. That's not that big of a deal. And actually, I'm probably gonna end up using more than four, just because spruce trapdoors look so good. Okay, that doesn't work, though. Ouch. Good thing we have a ladder. Okay, trap door. Uh, slab, slab. Let's put two slabs right there. And a trap door, and then a slab, and then a slab. And yeah, you guys basically get the general idea of this. We're going to go around here, and we're almost done with this layer. Put that there, that can go there, and then bang, bang, bang. Now that does ruin our ladder, so we will have to fix that. Although we are going to end up taking that ladder down, so that's fine. And, oh, we got to go to sleep. Good thing we have these handy dandy stairs to take us down to where our bed is. Whatever would we do without them? I'm going very thoroughly and showing you the steps of how I'm building this for this first one, but I think for these two, I'm just going to do off camera and haul them out, just because they're going to be basically the same as this one, except that one won't have the stairs and the tower thing. Uh, I want to put in some windows. Uh... Well, we have to go pretty far out if we ever want to see that, though. So maybe we put them right here, and we can have blocks, perhaps? I don't have any cobblestone on me. We're going to have to go grab some of that. Uh, we do have s s normal stone, though. So... Maybe? I don't know. Uh, I bet we have cobblestone down there. So we'll go grab that later, uh, but right now, I just want to work on hollowing out the holes on where I want to put the windows. Like, let's put one up here, maybe. And this looks in on the stairs, so maybe we'll put the glass right here. That way we can actually see what's happening inside. Is there a squid dying? There is. Uh, that way we can see what's actually happening inside. Uh, we can put another window right here, which could be nice because now we're going to be able to see out. There's a lot of sand here. There, another window right here. We'll have to figure out something to do with all the sand. And I think I think that's all the windows I want to put in here. I'll have to go get that glass later, though. Okay, let's work on the front door. Also, no, I did not forget about that. But we're not going to work on that for the time being. Front door. Uh, we'll have some slabs going like this. Maybe one there. Maybe one there. Maybe one there. There we go. And a door. We're going to have to figure out how the door situation is going to work. Uh, if we do this, I can see why people like building in like post-apocalyptic. It's a pretty fun style to build in. Uh, let's go get ourselves a door, though. Uh, about a bang. And let's put that right there. There we go. 
And the last thing I want to do is just replace that with some brown terracotta. I think that, oh, fences probably. We should probably get fences. Bang, bang. Boom, boom. There we go. And we've got ourselves a nice little uh, porch thingy, I guess. So, I started sketching out the plan for this bridge. If you come and look at it, you can see it's kind of a wonky shape. It's actually better to look at it from down here. But as you can see, it kind of goes diagonally, and I realize now that I forgot to place a slab there, 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 and then back there. But other than that, uh, I think it's fine, honestly. It doesn't look the best, but obviously we'll decorate it more. I think my only problem with it is if we keep going diagonally, we're going to end up hitting, like, here. Which I guess is fine, because then we can just have a small bridge from there to there. Which was originally not my plan, but that will still work anyway. Uh, yeah, bridge, not completely sure how to do that. Uh, let's make some more slabs, though. Okay, so, slab there, slab there, slab there, slab there. And that should make things even. Okay, let's look at this weird diagonal shape from below. Uh, let's up our render distance, actually, because we cannot see, like, a thing. There we go. Okay, that's much better. Uh, well, it definitely looks better. But where's this gonna end up going, though? So, let's see. Right above me is the block, which is here. So, it'll go here, to here, to here to here, 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 here. So it'll end up hitting this tower, which I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or a good thing. But whatever kind of thing it is, I think I'm done spending my time over here for this episode. So let's make ourselves a chest and stow some of this away, and then let's go work on a new project. And don't worry, we will return to this next episode, but for you, maybe it's been, what, 17 minutes here? For me, it's been maybe four hours. I've spent a while over here. You can't, you can't do things very fast in this game. I've learned that. Even if you try to do a project... It, like, even if it's, a re like, a decently small project, like that rabbit farm, for instance, uh, it will still take a decent amount of time to finish. So, give yourself more time than you expect to do these projects. There's a lot of mobs on that side. But, yeah, give your time more, like, give yourself more resources and more time to work on these projects than you think you'll need. Because, generally, these projects take a lot, lot longer than they are presented in videos. Pretty sure mobs can actually spawn on these blocks. Which is not good. Or maybe they can only spawn on netherrack since they're nether mobs? Uh, not sure. Maybe. Hmm. We'll have to figure that out. Because I don't want that place above the nether to be overrun with mobs, but I also don't want to have to go through the process of spawn-proofing it. Ah, uh, Bernie Float. I would work on you, but I do not have enough resources, which is actually one thing that I did want to do today. I do want to set up a very manual tree farm but still a tree farm. So let's see if we have the supplies for a hoe. Bet we do in here. Yep, we do. Let's take this so we can enchant it. And we just happen to have two sticks in here, which is very good and very handy for what I have in mind 
for the next project today. Let's enchant this. Uh, no, not that. That's already enchanted. Let's see what we can get on it. Unbreaking 2 and Unbreaking 1. Efficiency 2 and Unbreaking 1. I was hoping for Fortune, but this will work too, and it has Unbreaking on it, so it should not break quite so quickly. Uh, I want to harvest some of these saplings from the oak trees over here, because in case you haven't noticed, we are running out of oak wood. We can't really finish off Bernie Float. Er, we can't really finish off his temple unless we actually have oak wood. And oak wood is hard to come by, especially when you've thrown away all the saplings and chopped down all the surrounding oak trees. Like, if you go onto the seed, if you type in this seed, which, by the way, is that right there, if you type that in, this entire area is just filled with trees. I can't even remember how long it took me to clear this off. Uh, but this entire area is just covered in trees. And I don't think I kept any of the saplings. I could probably go through my chest and find a few, but that's not something I want to do right now. And it's more satisfying... Um, tearing down all these leaves than it is just simply going into my chests and looking for stuff. I think I've actually slept every single night in this world. So... This is probably the latest I've ever stayed up in this world. Uh, and we do not want to get killed by mobs. We do not want to break that record. Yeah, that's the word for it. We don't want to break that record and stay awake for longer than we need to. So let's head off to bed. Another project I want to take on is I want to revamp that village over there. And I don't think I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave most of the villagers there. I want to grab two of them and bring them over here, which I am planning to do that next episode, but things don't always go to plan. Hello, spider. Okay, 31 saplings. Let's go check in our chests to see if we have any more than that, because I'm sure we do. I'm sure I must have kept some of those saplings. What else would I have done with them? Let's see. Here's two right there. Uh... None in there. We don't need any birch saplings. I guess we do for the roof. But we don't need too many birch saplings. Uh, now this is going to be a very simple tree farm. It's just going to be basically a bunch of dirt blocks raised up one block from the ground. Where should we put this? Maybe over here. Uh, a bunch of birch a bunch of dirt raised up from the ground. And then every so often when they grow, we'll just come over and chop them down. Another thing we need to set up is an egg farm. Because those are... Eggs are useful. Uh, also, as of recording, tomorrow is Snapshot Day, which I am excited for. I'll definitely be playing and recording tomorrow. Uh, probably won't have the opportunity to record over Thanksgiving. Uh, because I will not be here on Thanksgiving, actually. I will be away. Away. Uh, okay, tree farm is set up. How did you not die immediately? Huh, okay. Uh, tree farm set up. There is one last thing, one last decision that I just made, but it'll be quick. It just involves 
a hopper, a chest, and some glass. So we can do it. I want to get make an egg farm. Let's just bring these chickens up here and get some eggs. We're not going to make a building around it. Uh, just want the eggs. The eggs will come out of the chickens. The eggs that the chickens lay will end up inside of that hopper into the chest. And that's basically it, honestly. That's how the farm works. It's a very simple farm. It's one of the few farms that I can make because I'm really good at redstone. So naturally, I don't do redstone. Uh, let's see. So we're going to need a way to get the chickens in here. I'll just leave the back open for now. And seeds, of course. Okay, let's lower these chickens in here. Chickens, hello. The good thing about this is... The more chickens you have, the more efficient the farm becomes. So you don't necessarily need more than one chicken. But the more chickens you have, the more eggs you'll get. And so it's actually beneficial to have more than one chicken. Okay, chicken number one is in place. Chicken number two, where are you? Hello, chicken number two. I see you over here. Okay, let's go to our destination. That ugly looking glass block over there. You can make it. That's another chicken up there. Hang on, chicken, I'll be right back. Other chicken, we need you. We need all the chickens. Okay. We're bringing other chicken to this chicken, if that makes any sense. Look, our trees are already starting to grow. Look how wonderful that is. Okay. Hello, other chicken. Let's bring these chickens through here. Let's bring you into our glass containment facility. No, it's almost nighttime yet again. Okay. Come on, chickens. It's not too difficult. Just come up here. That's right now. All of you get inside of the farm. There's only one of you inside of the farm. Why'd you guys get out? Okay, 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 okay. There's still only one of you inside of the farm. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay. Uh, let's breed these chickens and hopefully be done with this whole chicken catastrophe. Let's see. Let's just use our dirt here. Okay, there's now a baby chicken in there, which means our job is done. Well, there's no eggs in there. We can start it off with that one. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for this episode of the Let's Play. Uh, and until the next one, uh, fix my bridge, please. This bridge needs fixed. It's honestly... It's a really bad bridge. Don't worry, I'll actually fix it myself next episode, though. Uh, so, until the next one, see you later. There's a creeper back there. Oh, I actually just heard an egg. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, I was about to cut out there, but then, then, whoa, they laid two eggs. You guys are doing awesome, guys. Keep up the great work. I will see all of you guys later.